Good morning. My name is Mrs. Lynch. I'm going to take my mask off since we're a little further away from each other. And I, that way you can hear the words a little bit better as I read the story. The story I'd like to read today is called The Lion and the Mouse. Once upon a time, there was a happy little mouse who lived in a faraway jungle. The mouse loved to run through the forest and play. He could climb, jump, and swim, and there was always plenty of fruit to nibble on when he was done. One day, the little mouse was playing hide-and-seek when a huge lion with very sharp teeth leaped out of the bushes and cornered him. Stepping on the mouse's tail, the lion roared, Who goes there in my jungle? The little mouse's little nose quivered. The lion picked the frightened mouse up by his tail and took a better look. Well, well, well. A little mouse, the lion said. He opened his, up his mouth just as the mouse pleaded. P -p 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 Please don't eat me. And why not, the lion asked. You would make a delicious morning snack. Poor Mouse's whiskers stood out straight with fright, and he knew he had to quickly think of something clever to say. Taking a deep breath, the Mouse said, Little friends can be big friends. If you let me go, I'll never forget it. One day I can repay you for your kindness. The lion was speechless. He had never seen such a brave mouse. Finally, the lion tossed his mane and set the mouse down. I'll spare you this time, the lion said, but I don't know how a tiny creature like you could ever be of help to me, the king of the jungle. Then the lion roared and ran away. Phew, said the mouse, leaning on a low branch. That was close. The mouse forgot all about the lion until a couple of days later. He was hanging upside down by his tail when he heard a familiar roar. A group of hunters had trapped the mouse's friend in a large net. Squirming and howling, the lion clawed at the net in a rage. Let me go, the lion roared. The hunters ignored him and the lion could not escape. The hunters hung the net from a tree and went in search of a wagon to carry off their lion. The lion needs my help, the mouse thought. And he stood up straight and called out, Mr. Lion, I'll save you! Jumping from branch to branch, the mouse hurried over as fast as he could. He chopped down on the net and sawed back and forth with his sharp teeth. The mouse gnawed through one rope and then another until he created a large enough hole for the lion to escape. The very grateful lion saw that his kindness to the mouse had not been wasted. Turning on his paws to go, the lion said, I guess little friends can be great big friends. And the mouse happily agreed. Yes, indeed. Isn't it nice to know that even if you might be smaller than somebody else, you can still help them and you can still be friends. So if you ever get into a situation where you can help a lion, even though you feel like a little mouse, can still help that friend out. Thank you for listening.